Dear Evan Hansen, today's gonna be a great day and here's why. We're going to see Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway! So I'm joined today by my good friend Megan. So we're gonna preface this event for you. We've seen Dear Evan Hansen twice already, off Broadway, but now we're going to see it on Broadway for the first time. In previews, it hasn't opened yet. It opens December 4th, get your tickets now. Megan, how do you feel about Ben Platt? Ben Platt plays Evan Hansen. For those of you who don't know who Ben Platt is, he got kind of famous for this little movie, Pitch Perfect. Thank you. Performing live gives me such a rush. So dear Evan Hansen, it's about a kid who is super socially anxious and awkward. Through a series of unfortunate events, he finds himself suddenly popular and caught in a lie that perpetuates a ton more lies and he has to navigate through that. Which actor are you most excited to see on stage today? Okay, I love Ben Platt's character, but I'm a big Mike Feist fan. Me too. He plays Connor Murphy. Wait, you know who else I'm excited to see? Rachel Bay ah, Jones, I amazing. love her. I'm not ready for her song that she sings to Evan. Wait, let's talk about who wrote Dear Evan Hansen. Pascal Paul wrote Dear Evan Hansen. Pascal Paul also did Dogfight. Yep. They did A Christmas Story. That is also true. La La Land, which comes out, and they wrote some of the music controls. Real talk, I think Megan is most excited about the merch booth. Hashtag, I will be found at the merch booth. <laughs> I'm really sweating. We're sweating thinking about Evan Hansen. <laughs> I think Megan always sweats thinking about Ben Platt. Remember when you made a Dear Evan Hansen birthday cake? It never happened. <laughs> Wait, can we play one of our favorite games where we take Broadway actors' names and put them into musicals? Are we doing it with Ben Platt? You were doing it with Ben Platt. <laughs> the Phantom of Ben Platt. <laughs> Merrily we roll Ben Platt! Ah! Sunday's in the park with Ben That's Platt! Ah! Platt. It's like Hamilton. <laughs> ben, ben Platt's Platt boots. boots. Ah! Les miserable Platt. Fiddler on Ben Platt. <laughs> ben Platt awakening. <laughs> Beauty and Ben Platt. Ben Platt and the Angry Inch. Oh! The sound of Ben Platt. <laughs> Into the Ben Platt. To Evan! <laughs> Maybe it's the wine. I'm gonna be excited. So we're about to turn down the block and see the theater for the first time. I like that we're holding each other. <laughs> okay. Does anybody have a map? Anybody tell me how the hell I'm supposed to do this? <laughs> You're crying. The first cry of the day. <laughs> oh, the Ben Platt King. <laughs> the book of Ben Platt. Oh, we are about to go experience Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. on Broadway. It's Saturday night on oh. Broadway. Oh, it's afternoon. It's really good the show has an intermission. An intermission that you sob through. All right, we're walking in. Okay, we're in the theater. <laughs> Oh my god, the merch booth. She will be found at merch. <laughs> this is where Megan spends $400 at the merch. <gasps> look at the pants. I have to get a coffee mug. Wait, look at the baseball tees. Stop, Tyler. I just spent $130 on merch, and I just creeped out a fans in who I stalk on Instagram. <laughs> Megan, Megan. There's Evan's bed. Oh my god, it's happening. My heart is racing. <laughs> Deep breaths, Tyler, it's gonna be okay. So we're here in the second row. How are you feeling? I'm a little bit overwhelmed. A little, I'm a lot of bit overwhelmed. I don't really know what to do with myself because I'm a little bit too close for comfort. Ben Platt's a bit of a spitter and I feel like we're gonna get very wet. So here we go, we'll check in at intermission. You will find us probably ugly crying. <laughs> he needs to take deep breaths. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> It's just, it's just so important. <laughs> oh, God. All right, it's intermission. This is the effect of seeing Act One of Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> Megan brought us Elsa and Anna. <laughs> it's great, guys. Great show. <laughs> the only time I was happy was during Sincerely Me. So, Mike Feist, thanks for making me happy. All right, so we're out of the theater. Heavy stuff, you guys. I feel like I just got hit by Miley Cyrus's wrecking ball. But Ben Flat was riding it. So Megan is about to meet Ben Platt. Like today, that's so weird. So <laughs> Megan, what just happened? <laughs> so it's been 24 hours since we've seen Dear Evan Hansen, and we finally had time to process it, talk about it, and feel things. <laughs> Jennifer Laura Thompson killed it as Cynthia Murphy. I was like picturing her as my mom and imagining if my mom was in that situation, how I would feel, and it was really emotional. And it's funny because I was also identifying with Evan's mom, Heidi, played by Rachel Bay Jones. Especially So Big and So Small, that song will really speak to <laughs> <laughs> That song, I can't It'll even. totally speak to moms of sons, sons 
and their moms. I feel very grateful that I got to tell Rachel last night actually that she's doing it right. I texted my mom immediately after the show and I was like, <laughs> we're going ASAP. We're glad that Ben Platt finally had a handkerchief to like wipe away <laughs> everything because I he's, one too. <laughs> he's just pushing these notes out and they're beautiful and they're unlike anything else and he should get all the Tonys for his performance. There isn't a weak link in that cast. It's a cast of superstars. Mike, gosh, you're still the MVP. <laughs> Let me tell you, Connor Murphy. Uh, I don't know, Cynthia Murphy was my MVP oh, last night. I know. I, I know. loved her. And I did find myself having this pole torch Jared last night. We'll roll it. You just play it back so well. <laughs> I'm assuming you're not like that in real life. In Laura Dreyfus as Zoe Murphy last night, you hit oh. this note and you will be found. That's when I started sobbing. We both said both Laura and Crystal and you were amazing before, but like as you transfer, how you've grown in these characters is just magical. Even the role of Alana totally transformed. You were kind of a little angry, a little yeah, bit bad. It, it was pretty cool. And welcome back, Michael Park. Michael Park! What? Oh. what was your favorite moment about the show? Words fail. And I don't want to give too much away, but Evan just goes through 18,000 things in this song, and vocally he does 18,000 things, and I felt every single thing that he was trying to do. You will be found. The first time I saw it, I was ugly crying, but last night, as, as you saw a little earlier, I felt feelings that I'd never felt before, and Megan kept being like, shut off the camera, and I was like, no, people need to understand how this show makes you feel, and how especially that song makes you feel. I don't want to give too much away, but Evan gives a speech to the school, and I think in that moment you realize that you too can find that inside of you and speak from your heart in that way. I think this show is just a conversation starter in so many ways because there might be things in your life that you were holding back. You know, there might be times in your life where you thought about ending your own life, or there might be times when you felt like you didn't belong, or when you felt like you were upset with your parents, or if you're a parent and you felt upset or disappointed by your children, this show kind of talks about all of that, and I think it's really, really important to see it and then to know afterwards if something affected you in that way or something made you feel that way from that show that you should talk about it to somebody I used to fight going to shows like Dear Evan Hansen because I didn't want to actually feel my feelings This show specifically is so important to go and feel because I think that everybody would benefit exactly. from letting yourself be in that moment I got spit on a couple times <laughs> Thank you to the entire team at Dear Evan Hansen. The show is incredibly beautiful. Yeah, Stacey Mendish, yes. Productions, Faxton Productions, you guys. Uh, and Michael Greif, you have just nailed it with your vision. Thank you to Pastor Paul and Stephen Levinson for creating this show. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Time It Tuesday. I make new videos every Tuesday, and you can go see Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. Run. Don't even think about walking. Go online right now and buy tickets. Do it. Do you it. will not regret it. Get a nice Christmas present for somebody. Honestly, yeah. But go and stay free. You are not alone! You are not alone! Go see Dear Evan Hansen! <laughs> or as I like to call him, Dear Evan Handsome.